Here are the quotient rule problems I wanted to show you. So, first one is just a straight quotient rule. There's no constant multiples here. We're going to do the bottom. times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. All over the bottom squared. So if you look at the bottom, it's all factored. So don't do anything with it. The top, we have two terms as you always do. One, two. So you want to factor out anything or combine everything. There's nothing factorable here, but you can multiply these out. This one by distributing the 3x squared, this one by foiling. So you'll be able to combine like terms. So it's not a very difficult simplification. You just have to multiply. So distributing the 3x squared, you get 3x to the fourth minus 9x squared plus 27x squared. Oops, see my mistake. This is x cubed. Minus. Careful here. It's minus the quantity. So whatever you get from your foiling, you're going to have to distribute that negative eventually. So foil. 2x to the fourth. First outside is minus 3x cubed. Inside, minus 10x, last plus 15. Hopefully that's correct. I would just go over it one quick time just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So we have... 3x to the 4th minus 9x cubed plus 27x squared minus 2x to the 4th plus 3x cubed plus 10x minus 15 over the denominator squared. And... We're going to combine like terms. Let me move this thing. We're going to combine like terms up top. So I have 3x to the 4th minus 2x to the 4th. I have negative 9x cubed plus 3x cubed. 27x squared is by itself. There's nothing to combine with it. Plus 10x minus 15. Um, don't know if this is factorable. It's not worth checking. So this is going to be my final answer. Um, I'm going to check that on Wolfram Alpha most definitely after this video. So if it's wrong, I'll let you know. Uh, but you should do the same. I mean, that's a lot of work. Make sure you did it correctly. So Wolfram Alpha, I'll just say, differentiate this function, and hopefully we come up with this. The next one involves a trick. So I don't. Hopefully you've been doing this, but you'll probably want to pause the video, do it yourself, and then check. So the derivative here, it's a quotient. So bottom. Oh, wait a second. One advice I always give to my students, hopefully I've, I've said this, is one thing with calculus, you stop and think before you do. So I, I noticed the, this 3 is a constant multiple. But if you notice the bottom, there's also a constant multiple of 5 if you factor it out. So I'm going to rewrite this. It's just going to make 
the more you simplify out front, the less you're going to have to simplify at the end. So it's, I think it's very worthwhile because nobody likes simplifying. So this is a much easier function to differentiate. Three-fifths is a constant multiple, so we can just pretty much ignore it. Don't forget about it, but you can ignore it. So we have three-fifths times the quotient rule, which is the bottom, times the derivative of the top, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom, which is only one now, which, which is good, over x minus 5 squared. I'm going to distribute that cosine. So it's x cosine x minus 5 cosine x minus sine x. Um, this is pretty good right here. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit. Um, this would be an okay derivative, though. Um, usually, they put the signs in front, all algebraic functions after that. So, And the sign, I want to be positive since it's up front, so I'm going to factor out a negative. So, again, this is an optional step, but it, you might see it a lot. I'm going to factor out a negative. I have 3 times now positive sine x minus x cosine x plus 5 cosine x all over 5x minus 5 squared. That's it. Um, notice I didn't have to do that, that much factoring after the derivative because I took care of that with my constant multiple. I'm going to check this on Wolfram Alpha just to make sure I did it right. Um, hopefully I did so I don't have to remake the video. Um, so happy deriving.